What's up guys, it's Dragonfly Mike 77 today I'm doing a tobacco review. I am doing uh, the new brand out there, 421 12, 21, 12, which everybody knows now is the last date on the Mayan calendar. Uh, we won't go into that. Let's just leave that aside. But I was really curious about the flavor. Um, 421 is kind of a new brand. Um, it's in the hit crowd. And so they went with something that's kind of a uh, really popular on viral networks. Uh, I mean, people have jokes about it everywhere. You see it on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. So they decided to name a flavor after that, which I think is actually pretty cool. And I was also curious about the flavor because of that. And I did a little research and I figured out some Mayan fruits, something that they, uh, really popular fruits that they ate back in the day. And uh, I did that after I smelled the tobacco. Once I actually opened the package, the first thing I got was guava. Um, it's a flavor I'm very familiar with. I like guava a lot, but it also smelled a little different. Um, there was just something different in it. And I kept smelling it, and it just, that other flavor wasn't that strong. And I couldn't figure it out, and when I got it, my, my mom actually brought me the package. So I, I asked her to smell it, what, what she got, and she actually said papaya. And that kind of that made sense. The smell was familiar, and I had Fumari Island uh, pie, papaya. I always say pa papaya or paella for some reason, but uh, and that kind of made sense to me. Um, then, I, as I said, I did research. Maybe I thought, you know, they they actually went with Mayan fruit, so guava and paella. That makes sense. Take a poke for you guys. You get fantastic clouds with 421, and it takes heat pretty well. Um, I noticed it wasn't really sensitive. Uh, the only two flavors I've had is their apple bomb and this one. And I gotta say, with heat management, they, they do a pretty good job. It's uh, it's not as resilient as something like Nakla, but it, it definitely takes heat well. So that's definitely a positive. What I will say is, now the apple bomb was dyed, but it was kind of like that dark double apple red. This, if you can actually see it, I'm not sure if it'll be in focus. This, I mean, is like neon red. And again, I'm not really a big fan of that. I think it's adding something that doesn't necessarily need to be in the tobacco, but I've also made my peace with it. So I don't, I don't really knock a brand off because it's dyed anymore. I prefer it not to be, no big deal if it is. When it comes to the actual flavor, take a poke for you guys. I don't really get a strong inhale flavor. I kind of get that guava undernote uh, on the inhale, but on the exhale is when the flavor pops. Um, with that said, I really don't think the flavor is that strong. Um, normally guava fla flavors are really in your face, and it's one of the few flavors that I'm alright with it being that strong, but this is a... Uh, this is kind of toned back a little. It's not too sweet, and since the flavor isn't that strong, that's kind of why I was thinking it might be pa uh, papaya. Because with the Fumari Island pa pa papaya, I have such a hard time saying that word. Um, it really wasn't a strong flavor at all, and that's kind of what I get with the 122112. It's a flavor that isn't immensely strong, but it's definitely there. With that said, I noticed something very interesting the other night. Um, I brought my hookah out to a friend's house, we were playing poker, thought I'd load something different up for them, and I loaded up Orange Swirl, the 12-21-12, and some Peach Cooler in it. And I was actually expecting the 421 to be kind of not there, not being able to taste it, and man, it was, it was almost the overtone flavor. It, it was a really interesting aspect to the smoke. Despite the fact that I think on its own it, it's not that potent, when you mix it, it it really comes alive. It really pops, which 
I think is very interesting. Because of that, I actually really like it. On its own, it's a good smoke, but it's this flavor to me is a mixing flavor. Right now, I actually have Tangier's Pomegranate and this in there, and it just mixes so well with so many different tobaccos. Even the stronger tobaccos out there that you think that kind of would overtake it or you really wouldn't be able to pick it up, it, it comes alive when you're exhaling. I mean, it's really there. Um, it might not be the first flavor you taste, but once all the smoke is out of your mouth, you can really sit there and you, you really taste it. Take another poke for you guys. You definitely, I mean, I mean, that guava is definitely there. I definitely pick it up, but it does have that other flavor in it. And some people said passion fruit. I can understand why they said that, but to me, it's more of a pa papaya flavor. Um, it's not really, it, it just, it, for some reason, I just don't think it would be passion fruit. Just because of the name, just because they do have like Myra, Mayan, little like hieroglyphics and stuff, I would think that they would stick to kind of the name and the ambiance of the flavor itself. I actually really do like this. It is a fantastic mixer. Um, as I said, on its own, I would like to see the guava just perk up a little bit, just a little more flavor with the guava, but when it comes to mixing it, it it's an awesome mixer. Um, it is a little expensive, but uh, I mean, it's it's no more expensive than Starbucks or Hayes out there. So if you guys want to try something that is truly different, something that kind of will, I shouldn't say truly different, something that is different but still kind of has that fruity aspect to it, check out this. Um, the last thing I'm going to say is about the packaging. Um, I know uh, this is 100 grams. Uh, the 250 grams come in little uh, like plastic baggies that you can reseal. I'm really not a big fan of the packaging. As you can see, it folded up pretty easily. Um, I put it in a plastic bag. Again, that's that doesn't affect how this smokes if it tastes good. I would like to see, since they put so much effort into the actual design of the box, which is pretty cool. You can see the smoke and on a little hookah in the background. Uh, I would like to see maybe uh, a sturdier box or something like that. But then again, I do like Nakla, and that comes in a little crappy box as well. So. Again, that does not, that's just something that I would like to see. Um, when it comes to the actual smoke itself, I do enjoy it. I think it's a th thumbs up. As a mixer, it's fantastic. On its own, it's still a good smoke. I'm not going to put it in the middle. I'm going to kind of rev it up because I did like the flavor a lot. Take one more poke for you guys. I'm rambling a little bit um, about longevity. Uh, the longevity is good. Uh, I would like to see it go a little further. Now, I smoke a lot longer than most people. If you're somebody that just kind of sits down for an hour and a half, it's not an issue. If you're somebody like me who packs up the medium super chief and goes three or four rounds, I would like to see the longevity a little more, but again, it's still a good flavor. I think it smokes well. Uh, I appreciate the sample very much. Um, I look forward to being able to try out other 421s. I heard their Jolly Melon is fantastic, so that's probably the next one on my list. And I think that's all I got. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, peace out.